Imagine stepping onto a scale. It's such a simple moment, a quick glance down, and you've got a number that tells you your weight. But have you ever stopped to wonder, how does this scale know that number? How does this little gadget beneath your feet translate your body into a weight? Today, we're going to explore the fascinating science and engineering on how does your scale actually know your weight? By the end of this, you'll never look at that humble device the same way again. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Before diving into the mechanics, let's clarify what we mean by weight. Weight and mass are not the same thing, though they're often confused. Mass is the amount of matter in an object, measured in kilograms. It doesn't change regardless of where you are. Weight, on the other hand, is the force exerted by gravity on that mass. It changes depending on the gravitational pull. For example, you'd weigh less on the moon than on Earth because the moon has weaker gravity. When you step on a scale, it's not directly measuring your mass, it's measuring the force you exert on it due to gravity. That force is calculated in newtons, but since we're used to thinking of weight in kilograms or pounds, the scale converts that force into the units we're familiar with. Let's start with old school mechanical scales, the ones with a needle that moves when you step on them. These scales rely on springs, when you step on the platform, your weight compresses the spring. The amount of compression is directly proportional to the force applied, thanks to a principle called Hooke's Law. Hooke's Law states that the force applied to a spring is proportional to its deformation, essentially how much it stretches or compresses. Inside the scale, there's a system of levers that amplifies this motion and translates it into the movement of the needle. The scale is calibrated so the needle points to your weight based on the spring's compression. It's a remarkably simple and elegant system, but it does have its limitations. Over time, the springs can wear out, leading to inaccurate readings. They're also sensitive to uneven surfaces and need to be zeroed regularly to ensure accuracy. Today, most of us use digital scales, and these operate on a completely different principle. Instead of springs, they rely on electronic components called load cells. A load cell is a type of transducer. It converts a force into an electrical signal. Here's how it works. A load cell contains a thin, flexible metal component called a strain gauge. When you step on the scale, the weight bends the strain gauge slightly. This bending causes a change in its electrical resistance. The scale's internal circuitry measures this change in resistance and converts it into a digital signal. But the magic doesn't stop there. The digital scale's microprocessor then processes this signal and converts it into a number displayed on the screen. The entire process happens in a fraction of a second, giving you an almost instant reading of your weight. Now, you might be wondering, how does the scale know how to interpret those signals? This is where calibration comes into play. During manufacturing, the scale is tested with known weights. The signals produced by the load cells are recorded and associated with specific weight values. This creates a reference that the scale uses every time you step on it. Calibration is also why scales can drift over time. Factors like wear and tear, temperature changes, or even small impacts can affect the load cells and strain gauges. That's why some digital scales come with a calibration mode, allowing you to reset them using a known weight. If you've used a modern smart scale, you've likely noticed they can do more than just measure your weight. Some scales claim to calculate body fat percentage, muscle mass, water weight, and even bone density. But how do they do this? These advanced features rely on a technology called bioelectrical impedance analysis, BIA. When you step on the scale, 
a small, harmless electrical current passes through your body. The current travels faster through water and muscle than it does through fat, because fat is a poor conductor. By measuring the resistance to this current, the scale estimates your body composition. Scales, whether mechanical or digital, are not perfect. For starters, the surface you place them on matters. An uneven or soft surface can throw off the reading by shifting the distribution of weight. That's why manufacturers recommend using them on hard, flat floors. Another challenge is that scales only measure one part of your overall health. They don't account for muscle mass, bone density, or fat distribution, all of which are critical for understanding your body. Two people can weigh the same but have vastly different body compositions. Here's a tip. When it comes to tracking your weight, consistency is more important than absolute accuracy. If your scale is consistently off by a pound, that's okay, as long as it's reliable in tracking changes over time. Weigh yourself under the same conditions, preferably at the same time each day, wearing similar clothing and on the same surface. This helps eliminate variables that could affect your readings and gives you a clearer picture of trends over time. The future of scales is looking high-tech. New models are incorporating features like Bluetooth connectivity, app integration, and even AI-powered health insights. Some scales can sync with your phone to track weight changes, set goals, and provide personalized health advice. There's also growing interest in using sensors that don't rely on traditional load cells. For example, some researchers are exploring optical sensors that detect changes in light patterns caused by weight. These could lead to even more accurate and durable scales. The next time you step on a scale, take a moment to appreciate the engineering and science beneath your feet. Whether it's a simple spring-based mechanical scale or a high-tech digital model, each one is a marvel of design that's been refined over decades. And remember, while a scale can tell you your weight, it doesn't define your worth. It's just a tool, one piece of the puzzle in understanding your body. So use it wisely, but don't let it rule your life. What other everyday objects do you want us to demystify next? Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.